Hi, I'm Mark from ZoneEdit, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up dynamic DNS for your domain name. So we're in on our members home section, and we're going to click on the domain name that we want to set this up for. And we've got a couple places to access our DNS settings, of course. We've got the page editors over here, and we have the individual record type editor over here. What we've done is we've broken out dynamic DNS records into a separate type called Dyne. We did that just so we could put some extra functionality around it. It's important to know you can also manage this record like a regular hostname record, which means you can log into this interface and you can manually put in an IP address for it if you so desire. What we're going to do is we're going to just put in a record for home. I'm going to set a TTL of, let's say, sorry, five minutes. And that sets up the record. It's ready to be used. If you send a dynamic DNS request for a regular host record, it's actually going to move it into the Dyn record type. It's not going to change the way it functions, but if you don't see anything here and you've sent a dynamic IP update for it, it's going to be under here. The other thing we're going to want to do is set up a dynamic DNS client to use on the system. So this link here, which you accessed uh, from right here, is going to show you the various different dynamic DNS clients you can use for your platform to update your account on ZoneEdit. Now what we've also done is we've built the system to be backwards compatible with the old zone edit platform because we found that there's a lot of support out there in routers and uh, other access points for zone edit so we wanted to keep all of those working. For our example we're going to use the, the JavaScript dynamic DNS client which you can download um, from this page right here and it's just an HTML file you load up in your browser and you just enter the parameters here. Now, this is what happens a little differently on the new Zone Edit platform. You can put your account level password here, but it's terribly insecure to do that. We really caution against it. What we're going to do instead is we're going to use a dynamic auth token. This token functions like a password. However, you can't log into this control panel using an auth token. So if it gets compromised somehow, it's not the end of the world because they, there's very little they can do with it. We're not going to update a wildcard and we're going to update it every hour and we're just going to hit the update. And we note that our IP address has now been set to whatever IP address we're coming from. If we reload this page, we should see our new IP address, and that is all there is to it.